On this week's boiler tip, we're looking at the operating pressure control. The operating pressure control on a boiler has sort of a name that, that doesn't match what it does. The operating control name would imply that it's this control's job to tell the boiler when to start and stop. And that's true, but it doesn't tell it where to actually operate at. That's the job of the firing rate control, and we discussed and looked at that last week. So our operating control, what is it doing then? It's actually our first high pressure cutout. We're turning the boiler off when we attain the pressure setting on our operating control. And we have a main setting which should be at or approximately at that cutoff point. So if I set this for 100 PSI, you would reasonably expect it to shut off at 100 PSI, but it's going to be in the vicinity. So we always want to look at our gauges when we're setting these because, like I've said before, not made in Switzerland. So we've got a main cutoff point and we also have a differential. And the differential on an operating pressure control is subtractive. That means that if this is set for 100 PSI and we cut off at 100 PSI, then after the pressure falls, that differential amount, it will allow the burner to resume operation. So anytime we're going to adjust or look at this, we need to make sure it's coordinated with our firing rate control. Because if this is set too low, we may not attain low fire with the pressure control, with the firing rate control before we shut off. And that can result in short cycling. So that's an important reason to, to verify the relationship between these two settings. Now I've got a multimeter here just set to beep when we go over pressure to shut the boiler down. So I've got that set for 100 PSI with a differential of 12 PSI, and let's just see how close they get today. Oh, and I broke at 95 PSI. So let's see what pressure we come back on at. hundred PSI. So we've really got a little bit of a difference between our differential here and our reading here from what the gauge says. And, and that's why it's so important if I want to adjust this to closely monitor the gauge while I'm doing that. So I can see the exact pressure it's going to trip at and resume at. So I always want to make sure that my pressure control does not break until my firing rate has had a chance to drive the mod motor all the way to the low fire position. And I also generally don't want my differential so large that when the burner comes back on, when the boiler comes back on, that it goes roaring up to high fire. I want it to have enough margin above where I really want to actually operate at to allow it to get to low fire and to allow it to resume operation without having to rush up to a higher pressure rating. Now, this, on this device itself, aside from the main and differential, we've got three terminals. And I've got those wired on our handy training rig to the panel so I can look at either set. But on an operating pressure limit, what we have to keep in mind is that we are trying to break the limit on pressure rise. So that switch is wired on the normally closed contact so that if there's a demand, if there's not excess pressure, the burner will run as indicated by our beeping. So because we're trying to limit the pressure and the switch is going to make on pressure rise, we want to break a normally closed contact. So those do the majority of the operations and functions in operation. And next week, we'll take a look at the high limit control. Mm-hmm.